Hello Federators and welcome to GameFed, where no gamer is left behind. I'm Fudget and today I'm here inside Avcon. Now, for those of you that don't know, Avcon is the annual anime and video game convention which is held right here in Adelaide, South Australia. It is a very fun, very inclusive event and I thought I would take a little bit of my time to show you around. Now it is morning here, some people are picking up their path, some people have already come inside, but I'm guessing they're just as excited as I am for what's to come. So let's go have a look. So I'm here with Manisha now and I'm just going to ask her a little bit about her current thoughts on Avcon. So Manisha, what, uh, what kind of, you know, what got you into Avcon and, you know, in your mind, what do you think is really good about Avcon? I had a friend who got me into anime about five or six years ago and then I heard about Avcon and decided I wanted to come because I'd never been to conventions or anything like that and I've been coming ever since. So how long you, have you been coming here to Avcon? I think this is my seventh year. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright, well, fantastic. Thank you very much. Alright, so I am here in the indie games room. I'm here with Tyson, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about his game here, Fireball. So, Tyson, would you like to tell us a little bit about your game? Uh, yeah, so um, Primordial's Fireborn is a third-person action-adventure game where you play as a fiery young protagonist named Ash who's on a journey to basically unlock the lost secrets of his past. He's uh, been struck with amnesia and you wake up at the start of the game with basically no understanding of how he ended up in basically this ditch where he's very beaten and uh, very much in trouble and it's your job to help him go through the world using an array of different platforming mechanics and different combat mechanics and stuff like that uh, in order to basically uh, help him find his way. It's a long story short I suppose, yeah. So when do you think we could sort of expect to see this, you know, sort of the sale and stuff like that? Uh, so for this, uh, for Avcon here, this has been our first um, major presentation that we've done to the public. We've had very good feedback, which has been great. Um, it's one of those, the game will come out when it's finished situations, uh, but we're definitely hoping to have it done within the next year and a half. It just depends on a lot of factors about how quickly we can kind of get the remaining levels completed, I believe. All right, awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time, no and you know, I wish you all the best with it. Thank you very much. Awesome. Cheers. All right, so I'm now here with Anders, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his game, Think of the Children. Uh, so, would you like to tell us a little bit about your game? Yeah, well, so it's a um, co-op parenting simulator, where you are playing as one of the four parents taking care of all your kids in either a park setting or a beach setting or whatever it might be. And you got to try to make sure that they don't kill themselves or get in trouble. So what sort of, what inspired you to make that kind of a game, you know? Um, so we were actually at a game jam in Brisbane called the 48 Hour Challenge. And um, our themes were like love and surprise and power, I think. And so from those themes, it, it, we basically arrived at the love of the parents and the power of taking care of your children and then the surprise when they die. <laughs> all right, well, sounds, sounds like a very interesting concept, certainly. Yeah. All right, well, I wish you all the best of it. Thanks for, you know, giving me a little bit of your time. All right, so I'm now here with Matt, who is the developer of the game Mole Men Must Die. Sounds like an absolutely fantastic game. Matt, would you like to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. So, Mole Men Must Die is a game about delivering a nuclear bomb to the center of the Earth. The, uh, the president has been insulted by having a pie thrown in his face and he feels that's pretty proportionate reaction. So, there you go. Wow, that sounds like a very interesting game, yeah. <laughs> so it's a, uh, it's a arcade action platformer, uh, you know, you're given a, this is a sort of a bit of a roguelike element to it where you're, uh, you're given, you know, weird, interesting new powers at the end of every round when you die, but uh, yeah, for the most part it is a, insane action platformer that uh yeah 
Okay, so what, what was sort of, you know, your inspiration to kind of make a game along those lines? Sure, so when we were starting the company, uh, we really didn't want to spend like two years making our first game and kind of being a bit like, oh god, what if this doesn't pay off at the end? Like, you know, we really wanted to make something, uh, you know, fast and interesting and that we could put out there and just say, hey, this is actually what we're really interested in. So we looked at a lot of game, uh, arcade games that we really enjoy, like uh, Metal Slug and, you know, a few others, Super Great Box, a uh, whole bunch of different games. And was sort of like, well, we really love chaos and crowd control and all kinds of, you know, those, um, you know, situations where you have like, you know, hundreds of enemies on the screen at one time and said, all right, well, let's jam that into an arcade game. And yeah, pretty much that's how Mormon Must Die was born. Yeah, fair enough. Well, it sounds like a good concept. So where, when do you think we sort of see this, you know, on sale or is it already on sale? Ah, so it's out now. Uh, you can buy it on Steam for two ninety nine for uh, Linux, Mac and PC. And uh, yeah, we are also coming to a new platform called Jump quite soon, which is a indie gaming subscription service, so think Netflix, but the game, uh, which will, is uh, super cool and we're actually getting really excited for that to uh, get going, so yeah. Awesome, sounds fantastic, well thank you very much for your time. Well, I think that's about all the time I have for now. So till next time, see you later, Federators. <laughs>